Our next guest is possibly the only person to win an Academy Award, direct two Thor movies, and play Hitler. His latest is an excellent series called Reservation Dogs. New episodes air Mondays on FX on Hulu. Please welcome Taika Waititi. <laughs> For me to yeah, sit first. Oh, <laughs> I have to say, well, I, I know it's not why you're here, but I am. I I love Jojo Rabbit so much. Thanks so much. I wouldn't be one of those. Yeah, God, I just. This is just a normal handshake. I just wish there was a Jew in it, but <laughs> so good. I know you've got a Cohen somewhere in your uh, family well, Yeah, tree. when I need it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right when you need it. Hi. Hi. I heard you guys on um, the back saying, best show ever, best show ever, before coming on. Yeah. So, apologies in advance. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, Reservation Dogs got 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. I cannot wait for this. It's a lot of tomatoes. Tomatoes, um, tomatoes. Do you say tomatoes? You pajamas, potatoes. Let's call the whole thing off. Tell us about Reservation Dogs. I hope you would ask me about Reservation Dogs. Um, that's a show that's on Hulu, FX on Hulu, or Hulu on FX, depending on what part of the globe you're in, I suppose. And um, it's a show that I created with my friend Sterling Harjo. I'm going to look at you and them, because I feel like they've made an effort yeah. as well. And, um, and it's set on a reservation in Oklahoma, and it follows these four kids, four teenage kids, who are trying to get to California. Lol. And, um, they, uh, and they've got big dreams coming out here. Uh, and, and it's just about them just trying to like, navigate their way through life um, on the res. I think the most interesting and unique thing about this is that it's the first time that anyone's done this. Um, and it only took just over 600 years. Yeah. Um, and so it's an all-native um, uh, lead cast all native writers, directors, um, <laughs> all native, um, and the producers as well, and yeah, and it's um, it's groundbreaking in that sense, and that like I think Indigenous people have always seen themselves as the kind of mystical character who sits on a mountain top speaking to the spirits, and I don't know anyone like that. <laughs> I'm probably the only person like that. We'll show a clip. Because it's really good. <laughs> what TV screen do I look at? Any one of them. It's 82 of them. Are you crazy horse or sitting? No, no, no. I'm not one of those awesome guys. No, I'm more of your, uh, I'm more of your unknown warrior. Yeah. You know my name? William Knife Man. Oh, oh, oh! I was at the Battle of Little Bighorn. That's right. I didn't kill anybody. But I fought bravely. Well, I didn't actually fight. I actually didn't even get into the fight itself. But I came over that hill real rugged, like, ah, ah. I saw Custer like that. That yellow hair, he was sitting there. Son of the morning star, that guy right there. F I really hated him. So I went after him. But then the damn horse hit a gopher hole, F rolled over and squashed me. I died there. It's and funny. this is, you know, kind of analogous to your Maori, yeah. right, in New Zealand. And yes, yeah, so there's a lot of similarities to you know, still, and I grew up very similarly. And in New Zealand, um, yeah, the, our communities are very similar. And uh, growing up there, I was a rat bag, just like these kids are. And um, and really, I used to roll around. Uh, I, I grew up in uh, in an area where no one had, uh, basically, no one had a dad. Just all single mums. And all of us kids used to roll around and um, we would find kids with two parents and um, beat them up. Is that true? <laughs> so, hey, I heard you got a dad. I heard you got a dad. And then uh, bully them. I'm not proud of it now. <laughs> but, you know, if, if you get a dad, that's what you get. Why don't you go home and cry to your dad yeah. about it? That's right. Um... <laughs> wow. Anyway. Anywho. Did you, was your mother upset with that behaviour? I had a great mother. She, uh, one time I was, uh, I, got, I got brought home after shoplifting at a skate shop and um, it was the night of the Public Enemy concert and I really wanted to go. 
and as punishment, in exchange for letting me go to the concert, she um, made me analyse um, William Blake poems. And um, horrible. What a horrible mum. Aww. No, she's a wonderful mother. I'd say way better than being grounded. That's what you get if you have a school teacher mother. Well, you were kind of grounded uh, during COVID. You couldn't be on set. Yeah, that's right. So when we were shooting the, um, the pilot, I was in New Zealand with my daughters. Um, uh, we were going back to New Zealand and they were shooting in Tulsa. And so I had to get up at 2 a.m. Um, to, to sort of log in and, um, and, and be there while they were shooting. And I went into the quarantine hotel with my, my five-year-old and my eight-year-old girls. And as soon as the five-year-old got in there, she looked around and said, I'm sorry, two weeks? <laughs> I went, yeah, babe, two weeks. She said, well, I'm not wearing clothes. <laughs> and, um, and then about a week in, I was, on a, I was on a Zoom call with about 20 strangers from Netflix. And I looked at my little window and I said, like, who's that behind, what's that behind me? And I looked behind me, she's still running around naked. And she's, I said, babe, get out, you're in my shot. Like, get in. She said, you're still, still, you're still talking to them. And I went, just give me a couple of minutes, okay? And then we'll, they'll come play with you. She goes, okay, fine. She walks past my camera off my computer. And as she walks out of the room, uh, she's the most wonderful thing. She yelled out, we're sorry, daddy, please don't hit us anymore. <laughs> And I fell even more deeply in love with her. Aww. Yeah, there's a picture. There's a picture of your uh, hotel room. Oh yeah, there we go. It's like a Montessori school. <laughs> I mean, look oh, at. God. Does this qualify as abuse or? It's yeah, to me. <laughs> uh, you just wrapped Thor. The next one. Yeah. What is it called? Thor. <laughs> love thunder. Thor, love and thunder. I loved Ragnarok. Can I say that right? Ragnarok? No one can say it. I loved it, though. It's so funny. And this one you say is like the craziest one yet. Why is that? Uh, I just think that, I mean, I, I've said before, it's, that we, it's like we asked just a bunch of children what they wanted in the movie and just said yes to everything. And... I can't understand a word you're saying. Can you talk as fake Hitler? Because it's like clearer. Uh, I really hope you like uh, Thor, Love and Thunder. <laughs> Is that better? Okay. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> You're shooting Love and Thunder and uh, in Australia. Yeah. And this picture pops up on the internet. What? <laughs> oh my God. Who's Luckiest that? man in the world. Oh, it's me, lucky. And, yeah. but I'm offended because obviously. Well, you weren't there. Do you know? I was there. You cut me out. Where was the original thing? <laughs> <laughs> I was there. Thank you so much, Taika. Thank you. New episodes of Reservation Dogs are available Mondays on FX on Hulu. <laughs>